How we doing, people? Jordan back in the rock vault here. We're going to do a little bit of story time. A little bit different than the usual content you see. Not concert footage, not rock in the box, not from the vault. Um, this is going to be a little bit of story time. Uh, you read the title correctly. I met Mark Torian from The Bullet Boys, the original lead singer, and now vocalist slash guitar player extraordinaire i don't know if you guys have heard or seen anything from the bullet boys lately but that dude shreds on guitar just as much as he shreds with his vocals the man is an incredible talent if you want to see what they're up to now I saw the Bullet Boys front row center on May 31st of this year, 2024, at the Token Lounge in Westland, Michigan. I have the full show recorded and it'll be in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. Um, I would highly advise you to do that. Um, they put on a hell of a show, like I said, and it's the Bullet Boys. Who doesn't love the Bullet Boys, right? So with that being said, um, my buddy and I, uh, my buddy John, who runs Big Talk with me, our podcast um we showed up to the venue early. It's just what we do. You got to do it right. And um, we waited outside for a little bit. We happened to run back around to the back of the venue. And Mark was back there. Um, from the Bullet Boys. And so we are we are collectors. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe you're a returning viewer to my channel. But... Um, you know, you know that I collect and my buddy collects as well. We are memorabilia freaks. Um, we got a little bit of everything. I would say that I have a problem, but it, it's it's it keeps me sane, it keeps me going, and I love it. So, anyways, so we brought some stuff to get signed, and Mark is in the back. He's on the phone. We're like, we don't want to bug him, right? But um, he goes around the building and we're like, mm -hmm, maybe, maybe we should go around the building. So we run around the front of the building and he wasn't there. And we're like, well, damn, another one of our buddies, Derek, shows up. So we go back to the back and he gets his stuff out. So we're like, fuck, we'll get our stuff out. And, um, you know, Mark gets off the phone and he comes out. They're about to leave. And he's like, hey, you know. Would you mind signing a couple things for us? And the dude's like, oh my God, yeah. You know, anything for the fans. So nice. The nicest dude ever. And I know I say that about so many people, you know, on my Instagram posts, I'm always like, this is the nicest dude ever. You know, Robert Sweet from Striper, nicest dude. Paul Taylor from Winger, nicest dude. Sam Bam from Faster Pussycat, the nicest dude. They're all the nicest dudes. I've been very fortunate that most of the people I've met over the years have been super cool. And I, 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 fingers crossed, um, you know, these interactions continue to go that way because they really make all the difference, you know, in the, the fan artist relationship, or at least as far as, you know, from a concert going standpoint, I'm not just there for the show. You know what I mean? This, this music quite literally is the soundtrack to my life. And so it's important for me to go and experience that. But not only that, you know, it's really important for me to to meet my heroes. They say never meet your heroes, but like really, most of these dudes in, in these you know '80s rock bands and these just you know regular rock and roll bands are just are just nice dudes. And if you approach them the right way, they'll treat you with respect the same way that you give them and show them respect. And so you know, we approached Mark Torian with respect, and he loved us he's like i'll sign anything and so um 
with that being said, I'm going to show you a little bit um, of what I got signed. And um, we'll keep talking about it. So um, here I have the Bullet Boys debut album promo flat. And it says, uh, he was like, uh, do you want me to put your name on it? And I was like, well, really? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not selling it or nothing. So I was like, yeah, sure, please. You know, I would love that. And so he's like, you got it. What's your name? I told him. He's like, Jordan, great. It says, Jordan Rock. I think that says Rock Da His. Which I think from, from seeing some of his Instagram posts, I believe that is um that's slang for like house. So like Jordan Rock the House. Which is cool. You know, whatever. I'm grateful for that. It's funny and it's cool. And it means a lot to me. I love this album, by the way. Um on the back. This is a uh this is a promo flat, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, whatever. Um, but here we got a bunch of cool different designs on here and the classic Bullet Boys logo. Now, before I keep talking about this, I want to show you guys this this Bullet Boys shirt I picked up at the show. It is uh their newest single, Holy Fuck, um, which is pretty good. They played it live also in that video footage uh that I linked below. Um, y'all could check it out, but, um, the reason that I got this promo flat is that I wasn't able to get the debut album on vinyl. I have one. And if you give me a second to show you the one that I have is is in less than favorable condition. So it's, it's cool. This one only cost me 20 bucks. Uh, I bought it because it was cheap and I didn't have it. It's a gold stamp promo, but I, I'm guessing there was some, some index stickers here or some kind of like radio station stickers or something. And uh, they peeled them off. And uh, but, but look at these guys back here. Mark, Jimmy, Mick, Lonnie. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to set that down there. And uh, with that, I'm also going to set this down there as well. My signed debut Bullet Boys promo flat. The second thing that I got signed is a, another promo flat for Bullet Boys sophomore uh, second album, Freak Show. Now this album, this album is so good. If you guys haven't heard Freak Show... By Bullet Boys, please, please do yourself a favor and do so. What a monster album. As you can see, he signed it right up here. Now, this being a promo flat, two-sided, this side has the band on it. I chose to have this side signed because it said Freak Show on it. I don't know if there's any other collectors out there who've taken a look at Bullet Boys memorabilia. And you might know or you might recognize that that this album is not necessarily I wouldn't say it's it's not hard to get your hands on, but it's not cheap. And so for me, it's a lot easier to just get this promo flat. And for me, it says Freak Show on it. And I'm grateful for that. So um, with that being said, this is my Bullet Boys Freak Show flat signed by Mark Torian. Very cool. Now, what I didn't mention before, or may not have shown you guys, um, is that I got a, um, this is actually all on video. Um, so, Scott Holbrook, the uh, guitar player and vocalist for a local Michigan band called Frontline Lead, they opened the show, and he was out there and did a Facebook Live of this whole thing. This whole interaction, he got it on video, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it right here. I know. Awesome. But I remember Anita Super fans, man. Hiding all back behind the 
loading dogs. Here's the sound guy going acapella over here, killing it. Oh. The house and tour going. Oh yeah, dude. That's the dude right there. How cool was that? It's a little bit awkward to rewatch. I, I don't I don't like to watch myself like do those things. Like I don't even really like to watch myself when I edit these videos. I I don't know, I just don't like it. But um it, it's very cool that I have those memories um you know, those memories captured like that forever and I get to relive it and rewatch it. Um but um after the show after the show they were putting everything away and taking all the gear away and mark came out and took pictures with us which if i didn't already use it in the thumbnail i'm going to show you guys right here very very cool super cool remembered our names the whole nine just uh, the coolest coolest dude had a kiss shirt on by the way and not just your average kiss shirt an old school kiss shirt with like og kiss from 1974 how sick is that that's not your average uh you know average joe right there that's a real deal kiss fan right there and as a kiss fan to another kiss fan i respect that a lot um something cool i want to show you guys right here though um this is a picture of me with Mark back in 2018. Yes, 2018. You might be wondering, who the hell is that? That's me. That's me, pre-hair, and many, many, many pounds lighter. That's a little bit embarrassing, but uh you know life happens you go through things and uh you know you can't stay skinny forever whatever let's stop talking about it anyways um yeah uh i met uh mark outside st andrews hall in detroit michigan and um i don't know if you guys can see back there but i don't know where it is actually i might have it right here Yes, I do. Hold on. <laughs> so in 2018, when I met Mark, I really didn't have a whole lot of anything. Uh, to be quite honest, I, I I had just gone through a really rough patch. Not that you guys really care about any of this at all, but, you know, blah, 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 blah. Rough patch had nothing. Literally next to nothing. None of this, none of this existed. I had hardly any of this at all. This room was empty. I might not have even lived in this apartment. I might not have even had a home. I don't even remember that far back, to be quite honest with you. That's how rough of a time in my life it was. But back then, when I met Mark, I went down to my local record store, picked up a copy of the Bullet Boys debut album on cassette, and that is what I had signed right here. You can see it in this photo in the back on the ground in my bag this cassette right here what a cool memory i have this i have this i have these and um you know i have that video in that picture i showed you as well a couple other really cool things from that show i got a physical ticket dudes when was the last time you got a physical ticket to anything I can't remember. I cannot remember. Everything's all digital now. It sucks. I like to have this. I like to touch it and hold it and look at it. This is a physical memory. I'd rather have this than some file on my phone any day. But anyways, one more thing before I get off of here. The set list. I got the set list. This is the one that was right in front of Mark. You might see it in the video if you go watch it, which I think you should, because it's very cool. And I'm front row right up in his face. I'll do I'll do a little bit of video up in here if I haven't already. But um, this is the one he used, snagged it right after the last song when they were walking off stage. Um, and 
fucking sick. Fucking sick. Another great physical memento that I get to hold on to and add to the collection that I am um, extremely grateful for. And, um, you know, I don't take any of this for granted. And I, I am always grateful for these opportunities. And I will always let you guys know and let the people that I meet know that these these memories and these opportunities really mean everything to me. This music, this music is my life, and I'm glad I get to share that with you guys. So, with that being said, that is the story of me meeting Mark Torian of The Bullet Boys. Guys, thank you for being here. If you have a similar story, please leave it in the comments. If you've seen The Bullet Boys, leave it in the comments. If you love and love, uh, you know, like listening to the Bullet Boys and similar kind of music, please connect with me on my social medias down below in the description. I love meeting and talking to anybody and everybody that has similar interests as me. I'm trying to build a, an incredible community of like-minded people. And the more of you guys that are here with me, the better my life is as well. So if you liked it, liked it, comment, subscribe. There's going to be a ton more of this. You see it. Go through my channel. You're going to find stuff just like this. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening. And as always, I will see you on the next one.